everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as Reality Based presents The Creator Origins of T-Virus Terrence. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, be sure to subscribe, because the truth is Reality Based. 55 seconds. Uh, Terence, why don't you tell all the fine folks how you first got into content creation while I change microphones. So take it away, my good man. Yes, no problem. Okay, so back in 2012, my brother Tremaine, he created a YouTube channel. And he was doing that particular YouTube channel for, I want to say, nine months before he asked me if I wanted to join him. I said yes. And the name was changed to Tremaine Terrence to represent my brother and myself. And we started doing videos together and separately, of course. And a lot of the content that I made, it brought in thousands of humans. So before we knew it, we went from like 500 subs to almost 5K. And that particular channel was around for almost eight years, I want to say. And, uh, of course, due to things that I said in my particular videos, it was deemed hate speech, and that led to the termination of that particular channel. And uh, then, uh, subsequently after that, I created nine other channels on my own, and each one amassed more than a thousand subs. Uh, some were a thousand, some were two, some were four, uh, some were even five. And right when I would reach a certain milestone, pass a certain threshold, that is when the channels got terminated. And essentially, each time that I created a channel, it was bigger than the last one. And I found that to be interesting. And I just kind of kept carrying on. And that led to T-Virus Terrence, which is my biggest channel to date with over 20,000 subs. And um, I recently hit this interesting part where the humans were flagging my videos left Ooh. and right. And... Uh, I got a message from YouTube saying that they had took down 100 of my videos. But then when I actually checked my video log, I saw that 500 videos were missing. And the next thing you know, I tried to appeal that uh, silly decision that they made. And that issued a third strike on my channel. So they took my channel down. That was... December 22nd and I mm -hmm. fought for several days to get my channel back and the seventh appeal that I sent is the one that ended up working because the first six they were acting like they couldn't find my channel they didn't know who I was and they were like we're going to get back to you in 24 hours so that didn't happen Ooh. and the seventh one I must have typed at least 15 paragraphs like explaining to them their own rules and guidelines and how I had not violated anything that at most you can argue that I get close to the line, but never mm. step over it. So I broke mm. all that down. Not even two hours after that, I sent that seventh appeal. The, the human sent me a very interesting message like, Oh, uh, Hey, T virus, Terrence, we, we apologize after reviewing your appeal. Uh, they didn't say seventh, you know, they just made it seem like it was the first one that I sent. You know, after reviewing your appeal, we have come to the decision that your channel doesn't violate any of our guidelines. We are sorry for the frustration that this may have caused you, but your channel is back. Now, here's mm -hmm. the kicker oh. my channel is back. Mm -hmm. And 
several things happened rather quickly. We're talking about in under five minutes. So number one, maybe two minutes after my channel was placed back on YouTube as it was rebooting and certain videos and numbers and things were missing. It was like the channel was trying to catch up with the fact that they fucked me over. So I discovered that maybe another minute later, I got 200 new subs as my channel popped up. Um, Damn. And then, you know, a lot of humans were commenting like, wait a minute, what happened? I, I thought it was gone. Like, how did you, how did you come back? So I'm answering all that. And then I get an alert and it's telling me to check my channel. So I go <laughs> there. That's like we're four minutes in now. And then I look and at this moment, I still have three strikes, but my Ooh. channel is still there. So I That's was like, very odd. I was Ryan. I was like, what kind of weird shit is that? I have never heard of that. You know, I had already did the impossible and got my channel back. But you would think that when they admitted that they were wrong, that they would remove the strikes or at least mm -hmm. bring it down to one. Because I'm like, I'm Very at odd. three right now. I'm like, if something else happens, we'll end up in the same boat, which doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So then I see, Ryan, that the first strike is going to be removed January 10th. The second one uh, sometime in February. The third one sometime in March. So basically, mm -hmm. I have to wait so April 1st of next yeah. year to be 100% safe. Mm. Mm. And uh, I will say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am back. Uh, this, Thankfully, I didn't get rid of this microphone because I was thinking, Terrence, sometime in the future, creating something called a reality-based museum where all the stuff we had at the start will uh, we'll use as like museum pieces. So I'm not getting rid of this damn thing because it's quite the invention. I don't know what's wrong with this microphone, but it was certainly working the last time I was making uh, videos, so it's something I'll have to check during the, uh, well, the aftermath of this stream. It's good to see all you fine folks uh, watching. Hopefully you all enjoy the show, and hopefully you can all enjoy a bit of the T-virus. Now, Cass, I know, I know you are a lovely lady, but... Uh, we, we don't want uh, our guest to showcase his assets. He does that more than enough on his own <laughs> channel. You can, you can find that on his own channel. We have given Terrence carte blanche, I think that's the term, to speak his mind to the best of his abilities. But when it comes to, to matters of, of uh, showcasing things like that, I always get uncomfortable when, when stuff like that is mentioned, whether it's male or female, it's, it's, it's the British in me, it's it, always uncomfortable <laughs> subject but it's good to see Locke PSB, I hope you're doing well, my good man and uh, yeah yeah. oh, so I was, I was too loud uh, well, uh, Jay, thank you for the gift that I won on the uh, community challenge showdown but uh, just to be safe I'm going to use this for uh, live shows. What I always find annoying with StreamYard, uh, Terrence, is that you speak your mind and they always reduce your damn recording level. I always check it on Audacity and they always they always try to bring it down. But don't worry, the <laughs> microphone is working and I will be using it, especially for uh, my video making endeavors. Although I will say, Terrence, what I classify as your first video of note would have to be you showcasing yourself. Um, and it was dated to 2017. Now, this video was released on the channel you thankfully got back on March the 30th, 2020. Of course, it was right. very popular. It got uh, nearly 20 and a half thousand views. And you were, um, well, you were doing, essentially, you were introducing yourself and you were doing what Cass effectively wanted you to do. And so <laughs> that, that's a great way of, of highlighting your abilities. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. I always have settings issues, devil there. But that, uh, um, Yeah, that oh. particular video uh, was from the channel that I had with my brother, Shermaine Terrence. Mm. Um, 
and yeah, that was when I shot that video, it was like spur of the moment. And I just did it and started talking and press record, stop, upload. And then it just kind of took off from there. One, one take. Hmm. Well, I think uh, unless Christian is mistaking uh, Terrence for Eric July, uh, it's a very easy mistake to make, my good man. But no, no, I, I don't have internet banking, so getting Alpha Core is impossible. Uh, if someone is kind enough to to send me a copy, that that would be very lovely of them. But no, I have not read Alpha Core, but I'm sure it is a great read for those who have bought it. But uh, yeah, good to see you, Christian. I hope you're doing well. Good to see Herman the Tosser. What a name. My goodness. Yeah, I have, and, to, uh, uh, I have to check that out, Ryan, because uh, I did read uh, Isom number one, oh, and uh, that was pretty good. So Good. It's always nice when things have a, a good start. Of course, it's good to see Dempsey. I'm essentially doing what I do with uh, the meet and greet, but I'm doing it in, um, in uh, Creator Origins because of all my uh, technical difficulties. And it's good to see that Locke is tapping, which is certainly something. Nice to see a wide variety of, of great people in the chat, as well as all you fine lurkers out there. Everyone is welcome on Reality Based, uh, including, um, well, Terrence, who is really out there. But we like those sorts of people. They provide a unique perspective, which is vital for this channel, because without all you great guys and gals, where would we be? Mm. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm. On that note. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Reality Based Presents The Creator Origins of T-Virus Terrence, along with a bit of banter, back and forth, and all sorts of shenanigans. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no one else, Bye for now, folks.